This is Dr. Joseph, and today I'd like to go over a very common injury to the knee, which is a, of a meniscus tear. And I'm sure everyone's had a friend or otherwise that has uh, discussed a meniscus tear, so I want to more explain what that actually means. Patients often will describe a twisting injury of their knee. Sometimes they'll describe a hyperflexion, meaning they bent the knee way up and that, that created pain. The pain from a meniscus tear often is not that terrible, meaning that they feel like they tweaked their knee or they feel like that something got caught and ever since then they've had this annoying pain. Most of the pain from a meniscus tear tends to be on the sides of the knee, on the side on the inside or the outside of the knee. The meniscus is a cartilage substance that kind of almost serves as a rubbery protective separation between the two joint surfaces and as you can see from this model if you twist it enough it tends to make it more vulnerable the meniscus itself the shape of it is tapered meaning the thin portion on the inside which we call the white white zone is what often tears that area when it tears it has trouble healing and that's the reason we see patients commonly in clinic with this Sometimes a meniscus tear can be isolated, meaning it's only this, and sometimes the meniscus tear can occur in combination with other ligament injuries like the ACL or the MCL. If the meniscus tear tends to be persistent and the x-rays are negative, then the way to see this, as you may understand, is with an MRI. And if the MRI shows a substantial meniscus tear and it's symptomatic and painful, then a quick 20 minute surgery often will fix this. Most commonly, we go in and smooth out the meniscus and take it back to a stable rim with some small tools. Patients do really well from this. They can walk on it straight away and are usually very pleased with that. Sometimes about 10%, uh, there is a meniscus tear that's in the right area where we actually repair it. And that means we sew it back together. But for that to happen, it has to be a tear in the area that has blood supply, which is right on the outside in the thick portion of the meniscus. More commonly, it'll tear in the thin portion and almost easier on the patient, we can just smooth it out, trim it up, and then they'll have a good knee after that. So if you have ongoing knee pain and it's been persistent, come see us in clinic and we'll see if we think it's a meniscus tear.